Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday, <laughs> and it's about 10 to 10. I had an alarm set for 9.30, I mean 8.30, and when it went off, I was like, nah, I don't want to get up. Um, so I didn't. I slept a little bit later. If you're wondering about the weighted blanket, I woke up and it was not on me, <laughs> which I was kind of concerned about because I, I don't... I feel like I sleep like a log, but sometimes I end up with, like, I've taken off, like, my pajamas while I've been sleeping. <laughs> like, like, cold night, right? So I go to sleep with, like, a hoodie on and socks on, and I wake up, and I just have a pajama shirt on, so, like, socks, pants, and hoodie are gone. Um, so I do things like that, and so last night I had my bed with my weighted blanket and my regular blanket, and so I think I just decided in the middle of the night that, no, I just want my regular duvet and so yeah that happened anyways I am up now obviously and I have lots that I want to accomplish today I think so I'm gonna start with editing a couple vlogs here because I don't have anything to go up tomorrow because um, I'm just constantly behind and then once I get one or two done then I'll probably have lunch and then I'm going for a walk at some point after lunch with my friend and then it's going to be into ironing scrunchies later today. And I need to pack up some mail. <clears throat> and maybe put my clothes away from a couple days ago. We'll see. Anyway, so that's where we're at. I'm just going to chill here. I got breakfast drink this morning because I was too lazy to cook food. So that's how we're doing it. <laughs> and I will see you in a bit. Alrighty, so it is about 10 after 11 now. I am just exporting my second vlog that I've edited today, which is awesome. I... I'm almost done the thumbnail, but I need to grab another screen grab from this video, which is exporting. I can't do that while it's exporting. Um, the first one is uploading and it's taking forever, but that is fine. And now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get dressed because I am still in my pajamas. I like even have a blanket that I've been like cuddled up under because I find when I sit at my desk for long periods of time, if I'm writing or if I'm editing and like not doing anything else, I find that I get, my extremities get cold, specifically my feet because I'm not wearing socks and like even like my hands and stuff. Like I have have that Ikea lamp on my bedside table right there and when I lived in Vancouver at one point I had it on my desk it was like my desk lamp and um, it warms up pretty nicely so I'd be like writing and then like using that to keep my hands warm because yeah it got pretty um oh my god my brain it got pretty cold 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 my hands would get cold wow <laughs> we're doing great today anyways like I said I'm gonna get dressed now um probably eat some food and then see what the plan is because my friend said let's go for a walk after lunch and it's like do you mean like immediately after lunch do you mean like three hours after lunch I got other stuff I need to do I want to go to fabric line if I can because I want to pick up some Christmas fabric um I want to vote today if I can if not today I'll do it tomorrow so yeah we shall see but currently going to go get dressed very long window way of saying that. Q classic. It's been a while. <laughs> it's 20 to 6. So things have happened. I had lunch, which I think was the last thing I was going to do. And then I'm going for a walk with my friend. If you were wondering, <laughs> we went on the same trail that we went on previously and we sped up by 58 seconds for our pace. So that's good. Slowly. It was, we started out strong and then it, it you know, everything kind of caught up with him. There was a hill and um, I appreciate that hills are slow, but um, we got back, everybody survived. So that's great. I gave him the masks that I made for him and his mom and he paid me and I got to use my square pay for the first time and it was like really cool. Um, and then I ended up going to the fabric store because I went to pick up Christmas fabric, as I mentioned for scrunchies and I will show you what I got. I don't think like, I keep forgetting that I can probably bring my own bags to the fabric store now because before you couldn't, but I think it's okay. It's like kosher now to bring reusable bags again. I don't know. I also have just some medicine restocks that I got at the store store. Um, and we ran into my aunt and my uncle there too, which was crazy because I, I don't know where they live anymore, but yeah, so that was cool. Anyways, I got some remnant fabric. Look how pretty this is. I cannot wait to have a scrunchie out of this. I actually have a lot of um, this like polyester which is like so like satiny that I really need to get my butt going on, especially because some of the colors would be really good Christmas colors as well. Okay, that can go over there. So I got six 
meters of various different scrunchy stuff. It was on sale too. It's 50% off, so that's great. I got this one here. I'm really like, <laughs> the lady that cut it, like, she just folded it so weird. Like, everybody else folds it a very specific way. She was just like, here's a bunch of fabric. <laughs> Um, I got this one, which is kind of like a goldy mustardy and snowflakes. Next, I like this fabric's inside out, but I got this one because that just screams Christmas, like the red flannel kind of situation. So I got that because that's fun. I also got this one, like holly leaves and like blue and I don't know. It's like not straight up in your face Christmas, but it's also cute. And then, <sighs> okay, hair. I got this one, which is also inside out. It's just evergreen trees. And so I figured that was good because it's not like Christmas specific. There they are. I like it. <laughs> of course I like it. I only like to buy things that I like. <laughs> Although I'm not sure about that Holly one. I'm like, mm, maybe not. And then I just, just like couldn't get over this one. It's just so luxe looking. It's like a black, I guess, or maybe a dark blue. I don't know. Is that black or is that dark blue? Maybe it's black. Anyways. Um, yeah, me likey. So, because I don't think I'm going to make masks out of any of that, because I'm not even going to offer it, I don't think I'm just going to cut them into scrunchies, and then I don't have to wash it, is what I'm getting at. And then I just got a bunch of thread to match, because you got to match your thread to your fabric. Yeah, so that was what I purchased. Got a few things at the store store, like, uh, I had to restock some allergy medicine and other medicines that I do like to have around. And then we got some stuff for dinner. And currently I'm just sitting at my desk and I'm about to do a thumbnail for the third vlog that I've edited today. So that's a win. And then I think I'm going to start ironing scrunchies because I would love to get that batch done between today and tomorrow, maybe a little bit Friday morning. Um, so that I can take pictures Friday because Friday's photo Friday and get everything uploaded to my website or to my store which is exciting and crazy and I also have like all the other scrunchies I've made that I need to post. Yeah, so that is where we're at. I'm gonna work on this now and then pull out the iron I think and then maybe do dinner first also. My room has become a disaster and I bought these tiny bags of chips and I'm really excited about them. <laughs> I'm like trying not to eat chips as much but if I have a bag of chips and it's open then I'll just eat the whole thing. So I'm hoping that the smaller bags will be more helpful. I don't know. And I managed to get all my scrunchies ironed which is super exciting. They're all there. I promise. <laughs> um, and I re I refolded my Christmas fabric because it was annoying me. <laughs> Anyways it is currently 20 after 12 and considering I work tomorrow I should be going to sleep now. So oh right. <laughs> Literally me like mid thought remembering that I don't have a mask in my backpack for tomorrow. Whoop, misstepped there. Um, I always like to make sure I have a mask because you just never know. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go sleep. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for coming along today and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog and the theater. Today is Thursday, so I believe it's my last shift of the week. I don't know, like even now that I have everything pushing to my calendar, sometimes I'm confused. Yeah, theoretically, today is my last shift for the week, uh, which is super exciting. I'm not like dead tired today, but I definitely could have slept longer. I once more kicked off my weighted blanket in my sleep, and so I think I need to switch it to the other cover because I think it's I'm getting cold because it's a cool cover, and then I'm like, let me take this blanket that's not a cool cover. So maybe this weekend that is something that I will try. I'm just not looking forward to it because it's like 30 pounds of limp blanket, basically. Like you try to move that, it's like, no. But that's fine, we will survive, we will get through. Uh, today, I'm supposed to go for a walk with my friend after work, I think, and then the plan is to go get a trim. Like, I am loving the, the like, wild woman hair vibes here, uh, but it's, it, it needs a trim. <laughs> so, hopefully that'll happen, and then voting, and then uh, I've got a fair number of things that I need to do this afternoon with regards to scrunchies. <laughs> Like I said yesterday, I want to have them all done tomorrow or like tomorrow morning at the latest. So 
the goal tonight would be to cut all the elastic and pin all the scrunchies. I think that's a reasonable goal. We'll see. Also, I've noticed like this week I was like, I'm gonna have set scheduled days and like stop working by like 4.35 and it hasn't happened yet, but maybe we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and get this day started. <laughs> Alrighty, well, <laughs> it's 10 to two. I worked until about quarter after 12. Uh, finished up another 10 seat covers, which was very exciting. <laughs> it's like the little things I managed to finish two, three, I think three full rows because I had somebody else's to take down. So we almost have one entire side of the theater done, which is exciting. And I think we're at about 60 remaining before we get everything covered. So that is great. I know this maybe isn't exciting, but when there's so little to be excited about, this is exciting. <laughs> Um, I went for a walk with my friend after work. He picked me up. I have to modify his masks because <laughs> they're a little gapy here on him. Um, so I'm just going to put a dart over here, I think, and that should make everything okay. And then my mom and I are going to go out and we're going to try to get haircuts because, like, <laughs> I love my insane hair, honestly. Like, love it. I braid it this out of the shower the other day and it is still holding strong which I love uh the only problem is and I think I mentioned this is because I haven't had a haircut in over a year uh the split ends are starting to be a trouble starting to be a trouble starting to be a problem <laughs> so just gonna get a trim today like the least amount off that I can and um go from there and then today I have a few things to do uh, but I can actually cross a couple off, so I messaged someone and I emailed someone, which is very exciting. I have um, a couple orders for Christmas scrunchies, um, so I'm going to start working on this next week, but this week i got to finish my stack. So that's where we're at, but first, going to go try to get a haircut. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's 10 to 9, so it has been like 7 hours since I picked up the uh, vlog camera last and um things have happened including like a two hour long nap <laughs> so i got home and then we went and grabbed some lunch and then i got my hair cut you probably can't tell really much of a difference because it's only a little bit shorter the nice thing is though it is no longer tangling on itself which was my biggest problem with it so that's good i got to keep a lot of it because <laughs> i like like you told the hairdresser i'm like I really live for these like wild woman crazy wave vibes and um, I just want to keep it going. So we are. And then we went um, I grabbed some groceries for the week, which was very exciting. And then, like I said, I came home and I just crashed. I crashed hard and I slept the entire time under my weighted blanket and it was good. And then I got up and had dinner. Wow, I could not remember the name of that meal. And then I was just chilling and laying on my bed and I realized that... Um, I have to do invoicing because it's Thursday, so I'm going to do that now and then kind of see where we're at. There's definitely things on my list that I need to do, um, which I might not do today. I might just carry that list on to tomorrow, which is totally fine. But for now, invoicing and some music, and hopefully I'll wake up a bit and then go from there. Alrighty, so... It's uh, 20 after 10 now. I just finished invoicing. It took a little longer than expected. One, because there was like some really messy things. And two, because for about 15 minutes, the invoicing site was like, you don't actually have an account. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. So I used that time to send the email to brother about my sewing machine. It was really hard to not be like, as per my last email, here is my serial number again and everything I just said. Like... Um, <laughs> I was a little sassy, but like not super sassy. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it. So basically in a nutshell, sewing machine turns on, works fine. The display lights up, but it doesn't show any of the details. So like, it's really hard to pick a stitch <laughs> when you can't see what stitch you're on. So I sent an email and it was like, include your serial number and stuff. So I was like, hi, here's the situation. My machine turns on, the display lights up fine, but it doesn't display anything. Um, here's my serial number. I'm wondering what the next step is kind of thing. And the email I got back was, in order to best assess, we need, can you do the following things? We need your serial number. Is it plugged directly into the wall? Have you tried it in a different outlet? 
a receipt, please, of your purchase. And so I was like, literally, I gave you everything, or I told you everything you needed, except I didn't have the receipts. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, hi, my unit number, serial number is this. Also, my machine has never stopped working. The screen has lit up. It just doesn't display the details, which is what I said last time. I tried plugging into the wall and into different outlets, but it works just the same. It has never stopped working. <laughs> and then at the end, I was like, I've included a picture of my receipt and also a picture of the screen in case I didn't, un in case I didn't properly explain <laughs> what is going on. So hopefully I'll get like some, some, some help. I don't know, man. Anyways, it is currently 1020. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I just said that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a show and cut some elastic because I do not feel like scrunching scrunchies today, but I think I'll cut the elastic so I'll be ready to do it in the morning. That's the plan also, like a disaster in my room. Shocking. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I just wanted to update because I felt like it had been a while. Also, like, I'm pretty awake because I had a two-hour nap that ended at basically seven. <laughs> and with that, it's quarter to one in the morning. I switched my duvet cover on my weighted blanket to the fleecy one. It was a bit of a pain because it's like a wet noodle. <laughs> but the nice thing is, is it has... Um, ties like all the way around on the inside and it zips in which is great except that I couldn't get the zipper to line up so it's like off by that much at the end which I don't understand because the one that I took off it was fine anyways whatever I did also cut a bunch of elastic so that's exciting so tomorrow I can start doing or I can finish hopefully the scrunchies but I think I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow I was gonna try to get up early but honestly I just want to sleep in so I'm gonna do that <laughs> and with that, I'm going to say thanks for coming along today. It was a short vlog, I know. Maybe I'll just continue it tomorrow. Who knows? We don't know. Nobody knows anything. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good.